hello let's talk about this okay meatloaf has died on january 20th 2022 he had kidney failure and his eighth house is actually in libra which is his death house which is ruled by libra his death house is in rules the kidneys so if you have eighth house libra you might have a liver problem, or not a liver, a kidney problem, and it might kill you. He was sun in Libra. Moon in Pisces, Aquarius rising. Okay, he played in Rocky Horror Picture Show. Um, his sun sign, <clears throat> also, okay, let me tell you this. His Mercury is in Libra, his Venus is in Libra and his Neptune is in Libra and it's in the 8th house. He did have a drug problem. Neptune rules drugs. It's in his 8th house. He did have a drug problem. I don't know if he had any lung problems because Mercury rules the lungs. His Venus means he'll die beautiful in the 8th house. His Venus is in Libra. His Mars was in Cancer which means he did have weak willpower and he probably wouldn't stop his bad habits. And his Mars is in the sixth house of everyday routine. Shrouded about his family or something, his mother. But he also um, had Saturn and Leo in the sixth house. Um, Cancer, which that he means he has to let go of being a narcissist but he could have humbled him you know by crumbling his ego I mean I don't even know who this guy is but I just had to look I just it just popped up and I was like huh somebody dies I'm really going to go look into it and see and it's just sad to me that anyone that is announced dead it's just like sad always like when Betty White died, you know, it was like a big deal. It's still a big deal. And so, I wanted to figure this out. His Lilith is in Capricorn, the 12th house of Capricorn. So, in his career, he was probably using stuff. But his life purpose, North Nod, is in Taurus in the 3rd house, Taurus. Hmm. So, he is like a musician, band person. <laughs> So he uses his hands and his voice and a beautiful voice with third house doors. I really don't even know who this guy is. I don't even remember him in Walking Over Pillow show, show. I just thought it was so funny that his name was Meatloaf, but his real name um, is um, <clears throat> Jim Steinman. Steinman. And he was born September 27th. 1947 his time of birth I just got it was 4 p.m. 4 23 p.m. okay that was his time of birth if you want to look at his birth chart you can go do that he's Aquarius rising and moon and Pisces well <clears throat> so he would have to he would rebel in his career to be on something wrong. Knows. His 10th house is in sad chairs. That means he's going to be very lucky with being a <clears throat> freaking popular, famous person. He could make it anywhere and just expand his freaking career. His well known out in the world. But his 4th house is in Gemini, which probably means he's a gossip jerk and douchebag. Just because you're popular doesn't mean that you're a good person. Just because you're lucky with fame and whatever the fuck, and if you're a good artist and all that stuff, and you're great, doesn't mean you're still a good person. It doesn't mean. But he's Aquarius rising, so it may come off as a weird, quirky, friendly, good person. His moon's in Pisces. His mom was probably someone who did drugs or something like that. In his rising sign, he might come off as a Pisces. He might come off as looks like his mother. <clears throat> Um, his Saturn was probably a narcissist, which is his daddy, and his dad was probably critical of him, probably. The sixth down, sixth house of the everyday routine. Who knows? And it's just, he, Neptune and Libra probably means he did 
drugs with his partners and stuff like that. And he would attract a lot of narcissists and attention anyways. Seventh House Leo. Ah, uh, his, um, Jupiter is in Scorpio. Psychic indicator. In the 11th house? Um. Yeah. No. No, no, no. His Jupiter's in the ninth house, Scorpio. So, that's a lot different. Uh, I hate numerology numbers. That is so annoying. Why can't you just put freaking numbers and just put it on there? It's so stupid. It makes it so much difficult for everyone who wants to learn anything. Just make it difficult. Let's just make, have that big fucking words. I don't even make any English out of it. Let's just make this astrology chart just so much for, so fucking hard for everybody to do. It's so dumb to me that they want to make Russia la 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 fucking stupid words. Pointless, insignificant bullshit to astrology. Just, ugh, when you're calculating your chart. Let's just get new chart calculators that look more English, more simple for people. So annoying. But I don't know who this guy is, but I mean, I got a picture of him and he looks cool and funny. I don't know, kind of like Jack Black in a way, but I don't know. But he has, I'm just looking at his chart and it was sad. I was like, I bet you, you know, and he's a Libra and I was like trying to, his Seabrus is in Taurus, what he heals the world with and people go to him for. Oh, it's valuable and stuff. And his crown is in Scorpio. Mm, okay, well, you know, what I should be doing is talking about all of this that I'm mentioning. This ends Cancer, Juno, and Sagittarius. <clears throat> well, that's really insane that that's his birthday. Because I was like, I bet you this is his chart. And I'm looking at it and it's all right. It's true. That's interesting. And, uh, his Pluto and Leo is in the sixth house, too. Secrets about maybe his dad, who knows. Or just secret <clears throat> in the family? I don't know. Ridiculous. I need to shut up. Uh, Uranus and Gemini? <laughs> so with his words, it'd be like inventive and futuristic, transmitting how he communicates. And usually, um, he is this chart. Interesting, his 12th house is in Capricorn, his 11th house is in Capricorn. That's Interception House. His little dead one, already said that. Okay, well, I just wanted to say this. I don't know, but that's it, okay? I don't know who this guy is, but he's like a celebrity. And he's been rocking here for a fish. Meatloaf. For a chart analysis, that is insane how he died on January 20, 2022. And... He's a Libra. His eighth house is a Libra. He died of kidney failure. So, that's predicts his chart. That's a Neptune there. He would die of drug overdose or suicide or poison. So, that's interesting. Neptune in the eighth house. Ugh just is okay that just goes to show astrology is so real interesting <laughs>